I'm attempting to build a really cheap bandsaw sawmill. Uh, what you see before you is a bandsaw that I picked up for $70 off of Craigslist. That $70 is less than one V-belt pulley off of the internet. I, have, I will attempt to show you everything that I'm doing so far. But uh, <coughs> I did buy this. It's a HDC Homier distributing. But this sawmill is a clone of so many more. If you look at this, the blade will run right down through here. Okay. And it'll have a 14 inch, actually it's 13 and 3 quarter diameter pulley, top and bottom. You need about a 14 inch, otherwise you're going to break blades if you go smaller. This one is rubber tired. It is rubber tired so that it will grip the blade a little better. Um, in just a second, I am going to pull the guards off. As a matter of fact, I'll do that right now. The lower pulley is cast iron. And of course it's got ball bearings on it. It's like a jack shaft. The upper has an aluminum pulley and it is also belted. Okay. I'll put a measure stick on it here a little while ago to make sure that the saw blade dimension written on the guard is correct. Okay. What we have with this unit is a throw depth of approximately 10 inches. But that's uh, really a misnomer. As it does not have room in that 10 inches, to get a log in there. So what I'm going to attempt to do, uh, I'm not going to attempt, I know I can do it, is to put an extension where this comes apart. The distance between the two frames. Two frames is right here. It's 12 inches. Minus a couple of inches for the blade guides. I think it will work. And what I have done is I have checked this 93 and a half, and I have checked to see if I put a 12 inch extension in here if I can buy blades. I can. Uh, Later on, I'll tell you where the blades are going to come from. Uh, try to give you a, b a little bit better close-up of it as it is. I apologize for the traffic. Uh, it's going home time for a lot of people. I'm retired, so it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, but there's my bandsaw. Somebody, this thing is really only good with about a horsepower motor on it and somebody's put a two horsepower or better this pulley will have to change 
All my calculations say that that needs to be an 8 inch pulley. So I'll uh, purchase another pulley and we'll put that on there. So I'm um, getting started. Here it is. Um, the up and down movement. The slide. I've got an old bed frame. This one is different than those hardened bed frames. Don't know where I got it. Picked it up along the side of the road or whatever. I will repurpose almost anything. So what it, this is going to do the slide up and down, and I'll show you the lock later for it. Uh, I guess that's it for now. So we'll talk again soon. Oh, I, one other thing. I purchased, and this came today. Uh, the wheels, cast iron wheels that you buy, are pretty pricey. This came from China. It was less than eight bucks. Shipped. Rolls fine. It'll be fine. I uh, ordered three more today. I wanted to make sure that this one worked before I got more. Works fine. So. We'll be having more in a couple weeks. I uh, don't need the track yet. Got a lot of work to do before I make the track. So, goodbye for now. Stay tuned. And uh, I'll try to show you from beginning to end. Even cutting a log. Thanks. Bye.